Are you looking to move to Bay Area and wondering what it is like to live in a neighborhood that is a little uh, relatively um, cheaper than the others and uh, with decent schools and close to tech giants? Well, today here I am in the Dienza Park of the Dienza neighborhood here in uh, Sunnyvale and uh, later in this video I'm going to give you a a neighborhood tour and a tour of a couple of homes that are there in the neighborhood for sale so you will have an idea what i am what kind of houses uh, are available in this neighborhood so if that's what you are looking for stay tuned What's up everybody, this is Manisha from uh, Bay Area, California. If this is the first time you are here in my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, sleeping, dining, chilling right here in Bay Area, California, do subscribe to my channel and tap on that uh, bell button so that you are notified every time I drop in a new video. If you have seen my other videos about uh, Fremont, you would have uh, observed that I'm not from uh, I'm from Fremont and I'm not from Sunnyvale. And um, the reason for that, why we chose to uh, buy a house in Fremont, is that you know, uh, well, last uh, about five five to six years back, when we were looking for uh, buying a house, um, our budget was about 750 to under a million, and the houses in Sunnyvale costed over a million. And um, and yeah, we couldn't afford, but otherwise uh, Sunnyvale was one of the uh, cities that we were considering, one of the suburbs that we were considering to move to. And um, uh, that, that was the only reason, otherwise we would have totally selected this. And these days, uh, the houses are anywhere uh, to, to the north of 1.5 million easily. And that's for a living square feet of about uh, 1,500, 1,600 square feet. Um, right now, I'm walking uh, here in uh, downtown part of uh, Sunnyvale and uh, you will see that some of the restaurants are partly opening up uh, you know they had closed down because of COVID and um, they're slowly starting to open uh, now that the vaccine has started to come out all right uh, so let me talk about few things that are common across neighborhoods here in uh, Sunnyvale and uh, uh, that's that uh, you know the weather is great across Sunnyvale across Bay Area as a matter of fact and it, the summers are not too hot it it hardly reaches uh, uh, 100 degree fahrenheit uh, and when there is a when there is a heat wave it even um, goes above uh, 100 degree fahrenheit and uh, winters are mild uh, you don't have snow it doesn't get frosty here and uh, the temperature is about 35 to 50 degree fahrenheit and then um, the schools are um, are about average. You will um, see how uh, see the schools rated uh, right from uh, three to ten. So that's uh, that's about the schools. And then you have uh, you have walking walking paths and on all the streets. And uh, okay, I've come at a crossing junction. Right, yeah so um, coming to the parks they have uh, there is at least one park in each each of the neighborhoods and each of these uh, parks are unique in their own uh, way like one, one of the parks has um, has water pad another one has um, the sand pit and third one has really big play structures for the kids but one thing that's pretty much common across all the parks is that they're well maintained and uh, they also have um, uh, attached if you could say so uh, tennis courts so that's not something that you would see perhaps in um, in Fremont or any other uh, suburb here in Bay Area but that's very common here in uh, Sunnyvale so you will see a lot of um, all these parks attached with tennis courts so if you are a tennis enthusiast if you are fond of playing that and you have kids who you have to take uh, to the parks then um, and then yeah you have the facility to to do that um, one more uh, aspect of uh, Sunnyvale is that you have uh, ample uh, ample parking space uh, where the, whether it is parking right across the street or parking near the uh, downtown you have a lot of space in fact just around downtown you have four big public uh, public parking spaces available in Sunnyvale 
So I'll see you in the different parts of neighborhood in a short while. All right. So uh, the I'm here at the Dianza Park, and uh, I'll uh, as I give you more information about the neighborhood, I'll be walking through the park. This neighborhood of Sunnyvale is bound by uh, Dianza, um, by El Camino Real on, the, on in the north, uh, Sunnyvale Saratoga Road on the west. Fremont Avenue in the south and Norman Minita Highway on the west. Now you have a huge mango park in this neighborhood. You have the huge uh, De Anza Park and you also have the huge Las Palmas uh, Park also here in this beautiful neighborhood. Mango Park is doesn't uh, have uh, uh, kids play structures. It is it is a really huge play field. Like I said before, most of the parks here have uh, attached tennis court. It's the same thing with the mango park. It's a huge field plus tennis courts. And in this park, you can see a baseball field. So let me just show you that. Here you go. And you can see kids playing, practicing with their coach. So yeah. The coach is yelling at the kids. And and just the way uh, Mango Park doesn't have uh, kids play structures, in this park you don't have tennis courts. So uh, it's just, uh, but, the, but the kids play structures is really huge. And I, I think another uh, huge, um, uh, I think another huge um, park that has huge kids structures here in Sunnyvale is the Ortega Park. Uh, we'll, we'll go there soon. If you like the information provided so far in this video, please pause for a moment, like the video, share it with those who you think might benefit from the video. This will let me know that you the, the video provided you the information that you were looking for. It will help me grow, it will help the channel grow, and it will tell YouTube to put it in front of people who might be looking for this kind of info, just the way you did. Thank you, enjoy the rest of the video. Right. So coming to the housing scene here, the house, the uh, median value, median uh, home price here is about two million. Cost for one bedroom is about uh, 1.15 million. Uh, two bedroom is about 1.32 million. Three bedroom is about 1.9 million, and a four bedroom is about 2.3 million. Now on average, it costs about uh, 1.k, 1.1 uh, thousand uh, per uh, living square foot in this neighborhood let's now take a look at a couple of houses that's on market right now all right i am right now standing in front of a house in the anza uh, neighborhood of sunnyvale as you, as you can make out there's a lot of traffic noise here it's a busy street it's on um, so uh, this house is listed at 2.5 million this is a great front yard here it's covered so your um, for the, if the kids have to come out and play it's still covered um, so that they don't go to the um, road and you have a mature tree here so this house is um, has three bed two bath um, and has a living square foot of uh, about 2,000 square feet and sitting on a huge 16,800 square feet so this is the front yard and you have a couple of mature trees and beautiful colorful uh, plants here small small plants and let's go right in okay so as you come in okay so I gotta stop to wear the shoes shoe covers so please bear with me all right I wore my um, shoe cover so this is so what 60s 70s this kind of mirror all right so um, to the right you have the living room okay this this house was built in 1950 and I guess it hasn't really been updated you know and here is your dining room and across is oh my god okay across are the rooms okay 
So, here is the closet, again mirror wall from the 50s and oh, this looks like really old, quite old uh, carpet. quite spacious um, closet to go with it okay and a full bed uh, sorry a full back okay some storage here and then so we are back to the main hallway so this leads us to the kitchen the kitchen is huge you have a lot of space oh, I love the kitchen for the space so yeah the stove needs to be replaced yeah, okay there's some instructions there okay so you have the oven the stove and the fridge that also seems a little old and we are back here in the dining area and here is the family room which also connects back to the kitchen so this is the way it is so come out here come out here and then you have the door the living room if you come straight from there you have the kitchen and then here is your So two rooms there and two rooms here. Yeah, I, I, the lot is huge, so I would definitely need to go back there. So let's head out. Right. Oops. Okay. So this, the, this door is like right opposite to the front door. <laughs> Oh wow, this is so huge, so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, there's some storage, which again seems to be old. Here you have a mature lemon tree, a couple of rose shrubs, and other plants. The little family with the different types of plants. Short, small bench. <coughs> Excuse me. Small bench. So many, so many opportunities to uh, dare upon this, to improvise this. Wow, I love it. Okay, so again, this is listed at 2.5 million. So on a on a huge, huge, huge lot, 17,000 square feet, and uh, that's right in um, in Sunnyvale. It's beautiful. So I think this the buyers are going to be really lucky for oh, is going to be here. They need a couple of uh, upgrades of course but um, you can always do that once you have a huge lot you can always upgrade and do all the, all the nice stuff that you would want to do in the home. Alright let's go and look at another house in the same De Anza um, neighborhood. Okay, so we are standing here in front of another amazing house in the De Anza 
uh, neighborhood of Sunnyvale. So this house is listed at 1.9 million about and it has four bed, two bath. It has a living square foot of 1570 square feet and it's sitting on a lot of 6000 square feet. So let's go inside and find out more. All right, so here we are inside the house. So, oh, this leads to the garage. All right, so two two car spaces, and then to the left we have living area and. With a view of the backyard, which is very beautiful, well kept. It has been landscaped. So, if you go right from the entrance, you have the family room along with the kitchen. So, of course, this part of the house is very well lit. Um, the kitchen appliances seem new or they have been well maintained. So there's a fridge. Okay. So here we have all the rooms. Well lit room. And it has a full bath. Okay, so I guess this is the master bedroom. I mean <laughs> the room that I came through. This one from last year, so let's go and look at the other ones. Okay, here is a full full bath, common bath. Another room. So all the rooms are well lit. The hallway is well lit. Here is a third room. Closet. And the final room that's the office room and here we are at the start so yeah that bedroom was master bedroom you have a smart thermostat um, okay so let's visit the master bedroom again this is not too big, but uh, you can do with it. The closet isn't as big as the other houses that we saw. Um, closets in the other houses, but that's fine. Let's go have a look at the wonderful, beautiful backyard. Alright, so we have a couple of mature trees. Beautiful flowers, beautiful shrubs, and then we have storage there. The backyard is very well maintained and it's low maintenance. Alright, let's head back in. And This is an old fireplace here, but but the feel in the room is very cozy. I mean, look, the staging is very beautiful. Um, the look and feel of the family room is very cozy, very warm, and this is what you get for two million here in De Anza in Sunny. Right? Let's close up and. Here is me, hey! Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey! Just to uh, live in this neighborhood, you don't have easy access to public transport. You can expect uh, some uh, traffic congestion uh, on all major roads. You will see uh, bike lanes on all major roads and uh, not to be within the neighborhood. If you choose to live in the north or to the east of the neighborhood, uh, some stores are at walkable distance. Let's now go and take a drive through to the, to the neighborhood.
this neighborhood might fit better for a few people and not so much for the others and when you are purchasing a property worth a couple of millions it becomes crucial to know what these various neighborhoods have or do not have to offer reach out to us if you are looking to move or relocate to bay area or even if you are here just to stay for short term we would love to have a chat with you know you understand your housing needs well and assist you in buying a house that fits the lifestyle that you desire next video. See you then.